Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to run Windows applications on Ubuntu. There are different ways, there are two different ways. There are basically buying a copy of Windows and running a virtual desktop such as VirtualBox, VMware, so on. That's a bit of a the harder way. But in Ubuntu and other Linuxes there is a Wine emulator. It says it's Wine is not an emulator, but with the Wine emulator Basically, this works as a layer between applications in Microsoft and applications in Ubuntu. How you install this is simply go to Ubuntu Software Center, go ahead and look for Wine, double click on the regular, don't install the beta because uh, betas are sometimes buggy, but install the compatibility layer. You might also want to install the Play on Linux too because that's a good way to uh, install a lot of applications that need a bit of a configuration. But Let's go ahead and do that too. I'll install this as well. But as far as that, the wine is what you need. I'll give you a little idea of the play on Linux as well. So is that loading? Uh, what happens now is for if you want to get an application to run, I have uh, portable apps available for me. Basically, little applications available. Let me. All right. So okay, okay, let's do that again. Now, when I want to run an application, basically find the exe, the application's uh, main application, basically. That makes sense. The executable. Right-click on it. Uh, go to properties. Go to open with, and make sure that Wine Windows Program Loader is ticked with the little radio. I had to edit this myself earlier, but it will be open by default with the Archive Manager. You don't want that. So just make sure after you install that, go into properties, go into open with, and make that make sure that this little dot there is filled in, so you can run applications or executables straight with Wine. So then just double click on that. Uh, notice my it'll be a little laggy. It's kind of lame, but there we go. Notepad plus plus portable for Windows running on Ubuntu. Well, let's see if it has anything to prove to you that this is the Windows version. I mean, if the actual GUI doesn't prove that it's Windows, I don't know what will, but uh, what else do you want to do? You can run basically a lot of a lot of applications through this. And I'll show you a list of it in a bit. But that's how that works. Um, it works for a lot of applications. Here's, of course, OpenOffice. I don't know why I'm showing you all this, but I guess get that done. Let's see if my Ubuntu is done. Okay, no, it's not done yet. There you go. Open Office Portable. No. Uh, it is a bit laggy. I will give you that. Um, Windows, well, but then again, it probably goes about the same speed as Windows, but Windows applications will be a little laggy. I'm going to go ahead and pause for a second so that thing can download and I can show you how to do that. Alright, that's done. So let's go ahead and show you how to install applications through Play on Linux. Simply go into, uh, let's see, accessories, internet. Uh, hold on a second. The Play on Linux will be available through the games menu because technically it is used to play games, but you can install a whole set of applications through this. So go ahead and follow the directions. It's going to try and update itself with the application database. Basically, Play on Linux um, works just like the Ubuntu Software Center. It's a center for all the Windows applications, or the most popular ones, and that work for Wine, of course. And the way you install them is it basically sets up your computer with the right applications if they aren't available already uh, to run the application, such as uh, a game. If you don't have DirectX, it'll install DirectX for you. Uh, if you don't have some sort of font for an application, it'll install it for you, and so on. After it's done updating, it'll give you an idea or tell you that there's an updated version. You can go ahead and install this. But for the sake for just getting this done, I'm going to go ahead and install an application. So once you press install, a new window pops up, and it might be a little similar to. Um, an old version of the Ubuntu installation add and remove area. So basically look either by category. A lot of games, a lot of games available. 
but there are other applications as well. And again, there's Office 2007, 2003, so on. But you can also search it through here. So the basic way to install something, I'll show you with the game, is basically uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install, not install it completely, but I'll give you an idea. Double clicking on the StarCraft will open a new window here, and in this window, it'll give you a little bit of a step-by-step uh, -step installation method. So go ahead and click forward. It'll wait for any wine prefix. It is creating a set of uh, preferences that will work with StarCraft with this application. And then it'll tell you go ahead and tell us where you mounted the CD-ROM. Uh, make sure that your CD is in before you actually do this process. Otherwise, you have to start it over and find StarCraft again while the CD is inside so that this can actually detect it. Otherwise, it won't find it. But right now, I don't actually have it in. I'm just showing you how to do it. Go ahead and press forward and then <clears throat> once it's done or once you do this the installer will pop up for me I can't find it but for you when you actually select um, the CD area it will probably ca be called StarCraft or whatever application you want after you find it it will pop up with the installer it will just uh, you basically go through the usual uh, Windows installation process install put in your serial key and so on then when you're done, it'll basically give you a few other things. But that's how you would install it. And after it's done installing, it'll be in this list here. So you have a list of applications available too. You can run them from here. You can edit them specifically, and so on. So now back to Wine. Uh, you can do a few preferences here and there. Uh, in the Wine area, we can have all the programs that are installed. The Notepad. And uh, have Yahoo Messenger installed. You can browse the C drive, which is a simple folder. Uh, for instance, it's inside the user folder, your username, which is the very beginning here. Then inside a folder called dot wine, uh, dot period in front makes this folder unseeable in this area. It's like a hidden folder, just for, just because of that period. Then we have uh, DOS devices, and we use C because that's the C drive. And there we are, program files, and these are the files available to us. And that's how that works. Next, we can basically do a few configurations in the configure wine. Uh, for instance, on the graphics, I can emulate a virtual desktop. I'll show you again with, uh, let's see, portable apps, Notepad Portable. Now, if I run Notepad Portable, it'll open up in a little, uh, a separate window. Or not. Okay. I see how that goes. Sometimes it will, I mean, it should, I don't know why it's not doing it now, but that's basically the setting for it. So when you want to run games, let's say, in a separate window, you can do that. So it's not full screen. That's weird, but for me it didn't work. You can do vertex sh shader support, pixel shaders, uh, the DPI for text, dots per inch, allow their XX to stop the mouse from leaving. Libraries, you can override certain libraries available if something's wrong, applications, audio, and so on. That's basically how that works for little settings here and there. And of course you can uninstall the software right through here. Just click on whichever one you want to uninstall, press remove, and so on. And that'll be it. That's how you install, use, and remove Windows applications under Ubuntu. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope this kind of gave you an idea of uh, the versatility. So if you are a Microsoft Windows user, you still have the ability to come in Ubuntu and be right at home. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be making more videos. Bye.